This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now in uh, Nebenes, and uh, behind me here you see the plaid. And I always wanted to want, uh, find out the plaid, how efficient is it compared to the long range? This is triple motor versus the long range, which is dual motor. So we just happened to have tested the long range, or it's just called uh, whatever now, uh, Tesla Model S, yeah. And we found some summer results, and now we will try the plaid. They just happen to have the same tires, maybe, yeah, except for that. And the, the long range, the other car had uh, the wheel caps on. So I think that was the only difference. Other than that, it should be the same. So, um, let me just, wait, 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 wait. okay, there we go. Get this other car. Yeah, okay. We still have the yoke wheel. Marcus ordered the round steering wheel. Eventually we'll get it. So you see the plan is to drive a little loop here to Strandwich and back again. That's 24, 48 kilometers. I think that's long enough to measure the consumption. We don't have to measure too much. We already know the battery capacity and all that. Uh, one small thing though is that here, actually in the past, I wonder if I've been using plaid mode when I do, did uh, some of the tests, even the 1000 kilometer challenge. And I learned afterwards that when you use it in plaid mode, the battery will stay at higher temperature around 35, 40 degrees Celsius. Whereas when you, if you use sport mode, or I'm not sure what was up in chill mode, but then the battery will be at lower temperature and this will affect the consumption because um, uh, you can then scavenge heat from the battery and keep it at lower temperature and then save energy versus in plants so will we use sport mode I, I refuse to use chill mode it's, it feels like a, a legacy automaker in comparison so sport mode there is and then we just go here and we reset the trip and then off we go now we're on the move we do the 120 test first hopefully we don't have too much traffic it's 10.36 in the morning and uh, 15 degrees Celsius. So it's a little bit colder than the long range run. So yeah, that shouldn't affect the consumption too much. I mean, it, yeah, it affects it a little bit. So let me see, what is the tempo? I mean, what is the consumption so far? Uh, it's kind of clumsy, I have to dig it in here. There, 247, okay. Would be nice to have it somewhere here, you know, like in uh, classic Model S. And then how is Mjosen today? Okay, there's a little bit of wind. All right, fairly nice weather, dry road, pretty good condition, over here 16 degrees, all right, all right, that's better. We are on the way back now, and wow, in this part there is no wind, ooh, well that should be pretty good for consumption then, uh, how is it so far? 209 watt per kilometer, all right, all right, we're stuck behind a few left lane huggers, uh, not too many, so that's good, it seems like there's more traffic going the opposite direction. So, yeah, we have uh, some fresh asphalt over here. That's why the car is so dead quiet. Plus that they also have the, um, the acoustic, uh, no, it's gone. ANC, yeah, uh, on, the, the noise reduction on. So that also helps. All right, 203 watt hour per kilometer. Ooh, very good. Wait, I had to check distance error. How was it with this car again? Okay, but let's do 90 test now. All right, we're still at the end of July, so there's plenty of traffic on the road today. So, yeah, um, I'm just cruising at 91 now, that's 90 GPS speed. We'll go to the same place, Stranlisha, turn around, and then we'll see. All right, 90 test, 150 watt per kilometer. Ooh, but this car over reported distance by 2.6%, so it's higher than this. And if you compare the long range versus plaid consumption, you see that the plaid is almost as good as long range, but we didn't have the wheel caps on. When I tested the wheel caps in colder temperature, I measured as much as five to 10 watt hour per kilometer difference. Now that it's warmer, the difference is probably less, but still wheel caps should improve the consumption even further, uh, which means that this plaid, remember that it's a triple motor, 1020 horsepower beast has almost the same consumption as a dual motor with around 700 horsepower. So this is Tesla in a nutshell. They can make a 2,300 kilogram, fairly big family sedan, and they can still make them almost as efficient as a small uh, ID3 or uh, an EC4 or something. And this is <laughs> almost unheard of how the heck it is possible, but that's Tesla. Uh, but also, I mean, why did I test this in the first place? Um, I wanted to know, if you want to buy the plant, if you want to get the, the maximum power, the fastest four-door sedan out there in the market, 
uh, do you have to make any compromises? Is, it, is this car going to be thirstier than other cars? Well, it is already more efficient than other cars on the market, especially in winter. Uh, but uh, if you're considering between long range and plaid, you can safely go for plaid and you still have really, really efficient car. That was the whole point of this test. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.